We've all done it, haven't we? The weekend comes or there's a special occasion and you end up getting on the drink and having a little bit too much. And the next day you wake up with a hangover from hell and you just want to crawl into a corner and die. But there's no need for you to suffer because today I'm going to reveal a little recipe that I've developed over the years and I call it Paolo's Herbal Hangover Healer so you don't have to suffer all weekend long. It's actually a combination of really healthy food, herbs and some medicinal wild plants which are quite easy to get hold of and they are mixed in a tomato ragu sauce really. But the great thing about this recipe is you can have it as a pasta sauce, you can have it as a smoothie or you can have it as a stew, um, a bean stew. And there's so many things you can do with this recipe. So it's really, really versatile. And what I would recommend doing with this is cook a big batch up and then freeze it in portions. And then, you know, it's always ready to go then. And, you know, it's not just for a hangover. If you feel unwell or you've got sickness of some sort, I always cook this. It's really, really good. It's really, really good. It's just a tomato soup, a chunky tomato soup, which is how I'm going to have it today. Um, I would really, really recommend trying this um, with all cooking. It's a little bit of work, but it is so, so worth it. And I'm not messing about, it tastes delicious as well. I'm actually gonna leave the full instructions and ingredients in the description. So if you wanna just relax and watch the video, do that, and then you can just cut and paste that out of the description box at the end, if you wanna do that. Step number one, your ingredients. You are gonna need some fresh or dried thyme, some fresh or dried rosemary, preferably fresh, some bay leaves, some oregano, preferably fresh oregano, some feverfew, some lesser plantain. Also gonna need some dandelion leaves, just a few leaves, some garlic cloves, a large teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of turmeric, half a cut carrot. This is optional, but I prefer to have one hot chilli, like a scotch bonnet. Eight fresh chopped tomatoes. A pack of beetroot. A bowl of chopped either chard or kale, or a green leafy vegetable of your choice. Finely chopped. Some tomato puree. Two cans of chopped tomatoes. This is optional, but I like to have a little bit of roughly chopped chorizo. Some finely chopped vegetables of your choice. I have put here some mushrooms and some finely chopped courgette. Two large carrots finely chopped and four large celery sticks finely chopped. Some fresh parsley and two medium sized onions and some olive oil for frying. Right, so there's the ingredients. It's all good healthy stuff ready to get rid of that hangover. Step number two, making the base. So first things first, your first can of chopped tomatoes, you wanna put in the, the blender, all right? Then you wanna add your beetroot, all that lovely juice there. Add your dandelion, your chili pepper, your carrots, your garlic cloves, and your turmeric and your pepper. Put your tomato puree in. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a thick base pulp. Now for your herbs. Rosemary, your bay leaf, thyme, your oregano, your plantain, and your feverfew. All right? Feverfew is quite an unusual herb. It's really, really good for nausea and headaches. So that's a must have. If you can't get hold of this, you can buy it online. To be honest with you, most people are gonna be missing a few things with this, uh, um, unless you go really, really looking for every ingredient. But you know, there's so much good stuff in this. Really, you know, you can substitute bits and bobs as you go along. Right, parsley. Put in your parsley. Now, you might have to add a little bit of water to this. 
um, to, to get it to get it spinning because the carrots usually um, make the blender work quite hard. But they're worth doing. I find when you blend the the carrots up, they they really release a lot of sweetness when they cook, you know, and it makes this quite a natural, quite nice and naturally sweet. Put on the lid and let's give it a whiz. Bit of tomato juice. But you can just put water if you haven't got that. Now, because of the carrot in there, usually um, the old blender does struggle a bit. So don't have it on for long, excessive periods. Turn it off every now and then. Um, you don't want to blow up the blender. I, I know, I've done it. You want every little bit of garlic in there to be blitzed. So, you know, I would give it um, a little rest and a few blitz. Yeah, so that looks ready. You know, nice, thick, red, deep, beautiful, blitzed up loveliness. Step number three frying your vegetables off. Now for this, really what you're gonna need is a saucepan. Um, you can fry off the onions in this and get it going with the olive oil and then as you get to the point where you're adding water at the end, you can fill it up and that's when you can have your vegetables in there and you can basically leave it to simmer. Right, so we wanna finally chop these onions up. I like to do them um, quite finely chopped. A lot of the vegetables in this are finely chopped because what you want to do is you want it to be sort of like a lumpy soup, really. Oh, okay, that's about right. Right, heat up your olive oil in the pan. I like to go generous with the olive oil. As I said, there's a lot of good things in the olive oil, antioxidants and things like that. I'll probably put about four or five tablespoons in there, but um, I'll leave that to your discretion. You don't have to put that much oil in. Okay, add your onions. Fry the onions off on a medium to high heat. Uh, you're just looking to get them sort of translucent um, brown. Um, just caramelised really, just to get that flavour out of them. Keep moving them around. You want to cook them evenly. Don't want any getting sort of burnt at the bottom. Looking good. But I reckon that's um, almost there. Okay, I know this bit's optional, but if you're going to put your chorizo in, do it now. Right, mix that in. All you want to do really is just get the fat starting to render. Oh yeah, that's looking good. I just wish you could be here to smell that right now. The, the caramelization of onions and that sausage. Oh boy. Okay, at this stage, it's good to get your finely chopped celery and carrots on the ready. Looking good. Right, in with your celery and your carrots. What you're looking to do with this is just fry this all together basically now and cook them vegetables through. This is basically, in effect, um, an Italian ragu, the first part of this. Carrot, you know, it's full of beta carotene, potassium and antioxidants. Um, adds that sweetness to it, really, really good for you, really good if you've got a hangover. The celery, really high in anti-inflammatory properties. It has an alkalizing effect on the body and is very, very sleep inducing. So, also perfect for a hangover. Just make sure they get a good stir up now. Make sure that that oil coats all them vegetables and you want to give them like a, a stir fry situation. Get them sort of soft and get that sweetness out of them. Yeah, just keep them moving. I mean, to be honest, what you want is you want to get to the point, it's going to depend what kind of heat you've got. And um, usually when you can get your carrot and just sort of cut through it with relative ease, then you know it's ready, all right? Add your vegetables now. Just move that around, and then you wanna get your tomatoes, your fresh tomatoes on the ready. Been on the booze? Eh? Yeah, thought so. Just make sure it all gets a good coat in with hot oil, all right? Okay. Keep her moving. Real Mediterranean diet type cooking. R really, really sort your hangover out, I promise you. All right? Um, I'm going to put this base in. And that is something really special. Just pour it in. Just look at that. 
And what I do is I don't like to waste any, so I'll put a bit of water in that, swish that around and add that to it. Look at the colour. <laughs> it's just... Oh, I tell you, and it just... Oh, I just can't wait to eat this. Okay, at this stage of the game, just um, bring it up to heat. Um, I still go on a high heat, just mix it up. Um, and at this point, I like to put in my leafy green vegetables. I've got my kale and my chard, and just let that sort of stew into it, really. Um, and you can actually add some like red lentils, dried lentils, and then you can just bring it to a boil with the lentils in there, add more water. Um, so, you know, maybe one cup of lentils to two or three cups of water. And just let it simmer and let the lentils, so you can end up with this really, because it's quite a concentrated mix that. And you can just end up with this real, and lentils, because they're not very big and quite mushy, you can just have this real thick pasta sauce with it. But at the minute it's quite concentrated, um, I could add some water to that and stew it up and just do it as a soup. Or you could just have it a bit thicker and have it as a pasta sauce. What I do now is bring that to the boil. I've added a bit more water to that. Um, you can blitz it up, um, bring it to the boil, then turn it to a sort of low heat, put the lid on, and let it simmer. It usually simmer for about half an hour. So there you have it. There's the recipe. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know in the comments if you tried it and if it worked. It certainly works for me. So there you have it. That's all there is to it. It's a little bit of preparation, a little bit of work, but you know, you do one load. If you know you've got a special occasion coming up, cook it, that'll be your dinner for that night. If you do a big thing of it and you put it into portions, then you know it's there and in the morning you can just um, microwave it, thaw it out and have it as a pasta sauce or uh, um, just a soup. It's, it's really, really good and it will make you feel better. But, you know, let me know if it works for you. It certainly works for me. Now, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And it would really mean a lot to me if you subscribe to the channel. If you generally like things like self-sufficiency, healthy cooking, and generally surviving the apocalypse, hit that subscribe button. And I'll be back to see you next time. Preferably without hangover. So there you have it. Paolo's Herbal Hangover Healer. Get out there and make some.